we're going to have Midjourney create a beautiful AI model for us. Then we're going to use a free upscaler and enhancement tool called Crea to produce a photorealistic version of that model. And then we're going to do some light retouching in Photoshop on the image. Before we get started, please help me out and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me and encourage me to continue delivering high quality content. Okay, so first things first, let's go to Midjourney. Now, some of you may be wondering, how do you connect to Midjourney? First thing you need to get is an application called Discord. Download that, sign up for an account, and then sign in. The next thing you're gonna do is click on the plus button on the left-hand side here, click add a server. You're going to select join a server on the dialog box here. Then you're going to add in the Midjourney URL. This is the Midjourney URL. You're gonna type that in here and you're gonna click join server. Once you do that, you'll be added to the Midjourney Discord server. On the left hand side, you'll see a variety of chat discussions. There is a getting started section here. I highly suggest you look at it. After you've gone through all of that, what you're going to do is go to one of the newcomer rooms. The way that Midjourney works is at the bottom, you type slash imagine, and then you add in keywords. Let's get a 25 year old model, beauty portrait, natural light, strawberry blonde, green eyes, freckles, and we'll leave the rest up to Midjourney to create. And then you press enter. So what that will do is put your request in a queue. You can see here it's waiting to start and now it's starting. So we'll wait for the results. Okay, so let's take a look at what Midjourney has produced for us. These are some really pretty models here, AI models. After considering all my choices, this is the image I chose to work with. Now I'm gonna bring it into Crea. When you log into Crea, you'll be presented with this Crea Open Beta. I'm gonna click on Enhance up here. At the top left-hand corner, you'll see a drag and drop area where you can drop your image. All right, so we're just gonna drag and drop this image here. All right, so we're gonna start off, let's start off with 85. I'll tell you what, let's, let's bring this up to 90. And we'll go redhead with freckles so it doesn't remove the freckles. And Enhance. Okay, so now we have this image. So let's start from the right. This is the image created by Discord, or rather Midjourney, I should say. And as we move to the left, you can see the hair, the f how fine the hair is, is with this new result. And to the left, all the way to the left. Look at that. That is spectacular. Again, let's go before Now it's clear that it's changing, okay? It's changing the, 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 the model, okay? It's reinterpreting what it's seen. This is extremely well done. We have kind of natural tonal issues occurring on the forehead. We have natural tone in the skin, very fair, very pale, very fair skinned individual. So we'll download this one and we'll bring it into shop. So we can zoom in and take a look at what's going on here. Now, some odd things. It almost looks like the algorithm thought that she was photographed with a ring light because we have these catch lights here, what appear to be catch lights around the pupil. Uh, there is clear indication that the light is coming from a natural light source. This is all sourced from Midjourney, so this isn't the fault of Crea necessarily. But yeah, it looks like they tried to emulate what appears to be like a window light, okay? The hair looks spectacular. Very nicely done with the hair. So there you have it. This is really incredible. It's AI, yet again, impressing the hell out of me. We started with this image in Midjourney. Midjourney created it for us. Then we brought, over, brought it over to Crea and Crea made a photorealistic version of it. Now you might be noticing how I'm saying that these things are the ones creating it. That's because they are. I didn't create it at all. I added some prompts in Midjourney and Midjourney created this artwork here. Anyone who tells you that they're the artists creating these things in Midjourney are liars. They're lying to themselves and they're lying to you. 
All I did was add in a few prompts, as you saw. Midjourney did the rest. Then I took it into Crea and then upscaled it and enhanced it and turned it into a photorealistic version. Now, this is not something that I would ever call my own or put on my website calling it my own. I would clearly indicate how it was created so that people understand there is a large difference between AI generated images and my images. Now, one part of the population I think this could be really beneficial for are retouchers or people who are learning retouching because what you can do is create the model in Midjourney, bring it into Crea, create a photorealistic version of it, and then use that image to practice your retouching. From here, we can do things like adjust the eyes. Let's bring up a brush, for example. Let's switch to a white brush. Something very easy, just paint in a white and then set the, the uh, layer to an overlay blend mode, reduce the opacity to zero and creep it up. And you can enhance the eye just a little bit. There's things that need to be, look like me, need to be adjusted that I was pointing out in when we were taking a look in Crea. So let's bring up Liquify and see if we can center this a little bit. See if we can get this moved over just a little bit. So let's take a look at before and after. Yeah, we just kind of centered everything a little more here. The eyes look great. The nose looks great. The freckles are incredible. Let's do maybe a quick three-layer frequency separation pass. Okay, so something like that where you can see where the, the tonal issues, I mean, there's clearly tonal issues, so you can go through and... Fix it up just a little bit, perhaps. This side of the face might need to dodge and burn a little bit. And let's lose the the eyes. There we go. Yeah, that, the eye uh, enhancement I made was making everything a little bit too fake. So yeah. The overall point is you can use this to practice retouching, practice your frequency separation, practice your dodge and burn. Um, this is an incredible advent. It's yet another example of how powerful AI is and how it's, how powerful it's becoming. Keep in mind, this is Crea. This is just a open source version of this. There is an application called Magnific that is an upscaler and enhancer, and that one costs money because the results that I've seen from it are Pretty incredible. So if you take a look at this, their Twitter account, uh, this obviously is pretty just stupid how incredible that is. Let's take a look at this one, for example. I thought this was overwhelmingly beautiful. It looks like it was photographed back in the 60s or something off of a Western. A beautiful image of a beautiful woman. And then these were all created in mid-journey and then ported over to magnific it's a brave new world everyone all right guys see you next time